Hi all, welcome to my channel. It is possible to set up a Jenkins CI/CD pipeline where it uses AWS code build for load build tasks. Since AWS code build is serverless and fully managed, you don't need to bother about scaling up or scaling down the load build infrastructure with the changing load. So in this video, we will set up a Jenkins project where it uses AWS code build for load build tasks. So let's begin. As a first step in this lab exercise, we need an EC2 in which we can install Jenkins. So I have already created an EC2. It's an Ubuntu EC2 instance, which is a T2 large instance, but you can go for T2 medium that is sufficient. And the security group should have two ports open, one for 22 and one for 8080. So these are some of the features of your EC2. Now I need to log into this EC2, SSH into this particular EC2 so that I can install Jenkins. So you can go to connect, go to SSH client, copy this connection string and go to a terminal or command prompt and ensure that you are in downloads folder because that is where you would have stored your key. So just paste that connection string. So I have logged into the EC2. Now I have to install Jenkins in this EC2. Before that, let me just update the apt repository sudo apt update minus y so that whatever we install it will install the latest version okay now let us create a small shell script which contains all the commands for installing jenkins vi myjenkins.sh i'm copy pasting the code i will provide this code as part of the cheat sheet and the link to the cheat sheet will be provided in the video description yes once we execute this shell script, it will install Jenkins in this EC2. Let's save quit and give execute permission for my Jenkins scripts. Yes, now it is ready to be executed. So just execute it by typing my Jenkins.sh. Okay, Jenkins is installed. So please note this initial admin password. You can copy paste that into a notepad. And also please note the IP address of this EC2. You can get the IP address from EC2 console here. This is the IP address. Okay, now open a browser for accessing your Jenkins page. So open a browser and just type IP address of your EC2. This is the IP address of my EC2. You have to include the port number 8080 as well. So now it is asking for the initial admin password, which you have copied into the notepad. Just paste it here and continue. Click on install suggested plugins. It will take a couple of minutes. Okay, all the suggested plugins or important plugins for Jenkins are already installed. That is good. You can set up your user ID and password. I'll set up admin admin as the user ID password because this is anyway a learning environment. In real life, of course, you need to set up better username and password so here i am setting up admin admin full name i'll just give my name save and continue here click on save and finish start using jenkins okay so we have configured jenkins but we need to do a few more setups which we'll do shortly now before we do further setup in jenkins let us go and create a code build project in AWS and we are going to use github as a source repository I am going to use yt hello world what you can do is you can fork this repository into your account and you can use that repository as a source it's a very simple hello world function and the build spec.yaml file which is very important for AWS code build to function that is also included here okay now let me go to AWS code build and build a code build project okay so I am in code build you can click on create project and I'm giving the name as Jenkins Proj. You can give any name, come down. It is asking which is a source provider. I will say it is GitHub repository in my GitHub account. So it is asking for which is the repository. So you can either copy it from GitHub or it will appear here. Mine is YT hello world. Okay. And it says you are connected to GitHub because I had already set up this project earlier, but let me disconnect and connect it again. Yeah, I disconnected. You can either connect using OAuth or GitHub personal access token. Both are good, but I'm going to use OAuth. Connect to GitHub. It will actually ask for your user ID password for logging into your GitHub. But since I had already entered it once, it is not asking, I'll just confirm. So it is connected, that is good. Source version, all those things, you can leave it as default values, come down. Come down, environment on demand is fine. Environment image, managed image. 
compute ec2 is okay operating system for your load build server use amazon linux runtime standard image basically it is going to create a docker container as your load build server so it is asking for the configuration details for that come down service role new service role is fine it has decided the name by itself so you can just stick to that build spec build specifications select user build spec file and build spec.yaml file is already there in our package source package come down log cloudwatch this is okay so once the load build gets executed you can go to cloudwatch and look at the log groups come down create build project so the build project is created now we need to create a user id for jenkins to access aws code build so you need to create a user and you need to attach a permission policy to that particular user so the first thing what we will do is we will go to iam and then create a policy with permissions to access aws code build and that policy will be attached to the particular user id which we are going to create for jenkins so click on create policy and you can select json just remove this json content and i'm going to copy paste the policy content i'll provide you with this content as part of the cheat sheet so here please note that you have to provide your account number your region and your project name if you come to towards your right you can see the project name so you have to update this particular line and one more line you have to update with your account id and your project name and your region name etc so two places you have to make the changes so once this is done click on next and you have to give a policy name i'm going to give the policy name as jenkins policy you can give your own name description let me just skip it now come down and create policy so the policy is created now i need to create a user for jenkins so click on users click on create user username i'm going to give it as jenkins user it doesn't need access to aws management console you can click on next attach policies directly and come here and search for jenkins hyphen policy this one so just add that click on next and you can click on create user so you have created the user now you need to create credentials for this user so click on that username click on security credentials come down and here click on create access key and then you can select any of these i'll say local code and then i understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create an access key click on next you can here give the tag value as training any value is okay create access key so your access key is ready just copy that access key to a notepad because we will need that in the next steps and also please copy the secret access key by clicking on this and that also please copy it into your notepad so now my iam user is ready now i can go to jenkins and create a project so i am here in jenkins first thing is you have to install code build plugin so how do you do that go to manage jenkins go to plugins go to available plugins search for code build so you can see aws code build version 0.59 here select it install it will take 30 seconds it has to complete all these installations okay so it has installed aws code build plugin you don't need to restart it just go back to dashboard and create a project by clicking on new item and here also i'm going to give the name as jenkins hyphen proj and select a freestyle project and click on okay now we have to specify that jenkins must use aws code build for the code build step so click on build steps and click on add build step and select aws code build so it will open up a few more config parameters so here it is saying select credentials from jenkins or manually specify access key so let us manually specify it but ideally we should add it as a credential in jenkins but i am not doing it now in this proxy host optional leave it access key just copy the access key which you had copied into your notepad and the secret access key as well you have to copy come down region in my case it is region is us east 1 select that project name i have given the same project name this project name is aws code build project name whatever project you have created i have created a project called jenkins hyphen proj this is optional 
source location override this is optional leave it and what is the source of your code that is mentioned in my aws code build project so select it if you are actually selecting jenkins source then you will have to specify the git repository here but since i am choosing project source it is already mentioned the github repository is already mentioned as part of my code build project so you don't need to mention any of these just come down and click on save okay now the project is ready now when you click on build now it should actually build the load in aws code build so let us see build now first thing is it should show us successful here okay you can see that the code build is successful if you select this arrow and then go to console output you can see that okay it has built it in aws code build okay but if you want to verify whether it has been built in code build or not go back to your aws console go to cloudwatch in cloudwatch go to low groups here you can see a low group created for code build jenkins proj so this shows that this particular project was actually executed you can see the log stream here and if you click on that you will be able to see the logs and you can look at the timestamp and then confirm whether it was from the latest execution or not or you can also go to code build okay so we are in code build click on your project come down and here there is something called build history so you can see that once it has been executed build number if i build it again the build number 2 also should appear here let us quickly check that so i have clicked on build now so the second build is happening after this if you go to code build console you'll be able to see the second build also in the build history you can see that now there are two builds which are shown okay so that's it about this particular exercise so basically what we did was we set up a jenkins project and we set up aws code build as the load build tool for the jenkins project and we invoked aws code build from jenkins so please try this out and see if it works for you i'll create more videos related to aws devops consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye